Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm unboxing the Shure Beta 57A. This is a mic that I'm excited to talk about. I'm actually talking through it right now. I've also placed a large foam windscreen on it to avoid some of the plosives. As we can see, the box is pretty cool. We got that little official sticker on it. And uh, this is a dynamic microphone, so it should be pretty good at rejecting ambient noise. Also, the microphone has a super cardioid polar pattern, unlike the old 57, which has a cardioid pattern, which means, to my understanding, that it's a bit tighter on the sides, a bit looser on the back. Anyways, here's a little actual cutout where you can place your microphone and see how to place it in regards to um, its interactivity with monitors or speakers, I guess to avoid feedback. As you can see, we have a huge Shure sticker, which I won't be able to place on my laptop. We got a non-padded leather pouch, a little adapter, and a a velcro strap to help you with the cables and we got the typical paperwork which includes warranty precautions a denim is printed in Chinese I don't know why and the user guide of course which has multiple languages yeah so I'm not sure why that sticker is so big maybe because they want the audience to see it and they assume you're gonna be putting it in some sort of speaker all right, so unrolling this, uh, we see that it comes with a clip, which is cool, a uh, threaded clip, so you can attach it to a stand or to a boom. Although if you put it on a boom, I would suggest you put it with a uh, shock mount. So it's a pretty nice microphone. I like the color, I like the blue accent. Some people don't like it, especially because it's not black like the old one. It does seem a little bit small, but maybe because the top portion of this mic is bigger than the original one, uh, the grill. Uh, it's uh, much harder and much more protected than the original one. The original one had a plastic top, I believe. Yeah. But uh, it does seem very durable. It's very sturdy, very heavy. So you wouldn't, probably would be okay uh, if you dropped it. Let's see how it looks with a uh, FET head on. Since uh, unlike the cloud lifter, the fat head goes right in line. Oh, seems okay. So yeah, I wanted a microphone to sound clear, and this is what it sounds like. Thanks for watching.